Hi guys, here's how to read one of these little light meters, the dial type. Okay, well, it's too dark outside to shoot and too dark to show you how to do this outside. It's a bad, overcast, rainy day. So, I'm going to show you indoors. Well, we know that for a given brightness of the scene and a given ISO, our aperture and shutter speed are going to be variable. So, first I use this small dial with the little nubs to turn my ASA or ISO to the setting that I want. In this case, let's assume I'm shooting with 100 speed film. So, there I am. Okay? Now, down at the bottom, you'll see a needle, which is all the way to the left because I'm indoors, but a needle and a little yellow pointer. When I'm outdoors, I will turn this dial, as you can see, as I move the dial, the pointer moves. So normally what I want to do is have this pointer line up with this needle. Once I do that, I'll see that I have something called EV showing. EV is simply a brightness level. They call it exposure value. The higher the number, the, the, the uh, brighter the scene. In this case, assuming these were on point, I'll be at EV12. That's just simply a shorthand for combination of aperture and shutter speed. Then I would look down here at the dial and here you'll see matching up our combinations of aperture and shutter speed. Okay? Which means I can pick any of these I want and my exposure should be good. I can range anywhere from f22 one eighth of a second up to say f8 at one sixtieth to 2.8 and one five hundredth. Any of these combinations will work. So that's how you use one of these little meters. Some of them may have a little button on the side so you can click it and, uh, and have a reading. Some of the newer Sekonic digital meters are that way. But this one doesn't. This one's very simple and it just simply uh, measures the light as soon as you have it out. So there you go. Hope that helps.